There are so many moments in the Rite of Spring, it's hard to figure out just one. The, the way in which you completely revitalized music at the 20th century, this idea that you can let the primitive in in the way that it happened in visual arts, and all of a sudden Stravinsky is able to do that in music. But of course you can't do it just by telling the orchestra to play loud and noisy things. You have to be very consequent. And so the rhythm that he unleashes at the beginning where they really start dancing and we go from nature to humans. And of course humans are, we're very good at messing up nature. So this is the kind of thing that he starts out. He takes a normal E major chord and then he puts it with the E flat seven chord and you set, put them together and suddenly And the whole thing sort of takes off. And then, of course, at the end of the piece, when the sacrificial lamb, in a sense, has been chosen to make spring happen and therefore we've got to kill somebody, which once again just says really positive things about the human condition and how we behave towards our fellow man, he takes these rhythms and he starts to fragment them in such a way that our heartbeat gradually lines up in this way that masses tend to so that by the end, when there's this sudden cessation of the beat, it's almost as though we all collectively feel the thing that the person who drops dead at the end has gone through.